Could you guys hear that? Um, good morning. We're so happy you're here. We daily vlog, so if you enjoy this video, we hope you'll return tomorrow. That clip is Peter in the shower watching Must Do Disney with Stacy. Um, and so I thought that was a great way to start the video. Well, I was preparing dinner. As you can see, the clock's not on. Our power went out again. I would say the only complaint we've had about this new, I mean, we've lived here for a long time, about this apartment is for whatever reason, the power just goes out regularly. Um, and I mean, of course, if there's like a storm or whatnot, you can pretty much guarantee it'll happen. But right now, no reason. The bill is paid and hopefully it'll come back on so I can cook dinner. Otherwise, we'll have to figure something out for food tonight. Woohoo, it's back on. Thank goodness. I just prepared these little summer salad bites. I don't know who I think I am. Um, but first I chopped up a tomato. I had it on this plate first. Topped it with sea salt, black pepper, oregano, red pepper flakes, garlic powder, and nutritional yeast. With a little bit of olive oil, I prepared it on this plate so I could transfer it onto the pieces of spinach so they didn't get too soggy over here. Um, honestly, I'm more of a tomato person, so I'm trying to just like sneak the spinach in this way. Um, they're really yummy, very summery. And here are the potatoes I showed earlier. There is just two potatoes, olive oil, salt, pepper, garlic, a bunch of oregano and lemon juice. I will add a little bit more lemon juice on top of the potatoes once they're done. Um, and then we're just gonna have leftovers from last night, the mushroom and peppers over rice this time with the potatoes and the tomatoes. Hey everybody, my name is Peter and I had quite the work day, quite the work week if I'm being honest. Um, it's one of those weeks where it's like I'm not how would you put it? Like, I'm, I'm overwhelmed. I'm not overwhelmed, but it's just like literally nonstop. And like, like Sarah asked, like, am I working late today? And like, I told her I have a huge thing I have to get done for my, my VP on Friday for her to have for early next week. And I told my director that I'd get it done. Um, but basically, I know she's gonna wanna see it Friday during the day. So I have to get done tomorrow. And I don't have any meetings right now but I'm gonna basically have to deny any meetings because I wanna get this thing finished tomorrow and basically I'm not doing any work tonight after business hours knowing that, like Sarah and I just talked, like I might have to work tomorrow until it's done. I'm hopeful that I can get it done before five tomorrow, um, but there's just that possibility. So tonight, not working. It's 5.07, I'm, my computer shut down, I left my last meeting and literally Turn it down. I don't even think I saved anything on my desktop. I just shut. The, I just shut it down. If it was a desktop, I would have just unplugged it. But now we're about to eat, right? Yes. Alrighty. Here is our meal. Our little salad bites. I'm pretty pumped about it. it smells and looks delicious. We are at Disney Springs. It's real toasty out. Mm -hmm. We have to build up our like summertime Florida. I don't know. Endurance. Yeah. I don't. It's, the past week has just been maybe maybe we were out more. Maybe we were active. I don't know. It's been hot. What are we gonna do? I don't know. You said you're hungry. I think we should get you a pretzel. Or I'm like not like really hungry. But I think hungry enough for a pretzel maybe. I'm always hungry enough for a pretzel. I'm outside of Blaze Pizza. And I just want to show this like tranquil little piece of Disney Springs here. I'm so upset we don't have a pool at our apartment, like our last apartment. But I cannot wait for Saturday to get in that clown pool. That might be what we end up doing the entire time, is just swimming all weekend. Right? Right. See, she trusts me. 
Sarah never lets us just randomly get things for her. <laughs> so she said, I don't know when I, I grabbed them. I was just thinking about them today because I saw so many I found on Instagram. You need them for vacation this weekend. Ooh, oh, those oh. are nice. These are very nice. Do they just have Epcot and... There's oh no! And there's Animal Kingdom. Oh my gosh. I think I need... One, two, three, four. No, Ooh, that's the, nice. I think I need the Epcot one. Yeah. We're in World of Disney. We came here to see one thing. Well, we saw a couple of things, but this is what we came here for. My favorites have been put on oven mitts. <laughs> <laughs> Why? I don't know. They do no housework, cooking, nothing. But they're the best. Well, it's ironic because that's why you pick up super hot things out of the oven to burn their faces. <gasps> it's kind of aggressive. Yeah. This feels like Disney, smells like Disney. I think it this is a like new the ornament. Best kind of Disney. I think it is. It sounds really nice. I just had a thought should we bring a bunch of Christmas stuff Saturday and have a Christmas at the boardwalk? Christmas in July. No, it's June. Wait, is today just. What is this? Thursday. No, I know, but what's the date? 24th? 24th. It's halfway to Christmas Eve. <laughs> Isn't this one pretty? I love that. Yeah, I wish there were seats in here so we could just sit. Enjoy the music, enjoy the smell. Look at the awesome little Mickeys up there that I never realized. Or oh, those giant light bulbs. <laughs> Christmas decorations. And this stanchion here is actually a gift. A gift. And here's Mickey. But don't worry, because here's Minnie. And here's them kissing. Sarah loves that one. Yeah. We were talking about how, how like it's sad. How sad but weird it is that like they were selling a lot of the 2020 buy one get one. Right. And it makes sense because they lost like crucial months. Like half the year. Who's gonna buy a 2020 dated item? Not half the year. But like, why would you, like so many like who's gonna buy 2020 stuff in November? I mean, I guess people like like your parents when they would come on vacation with you guys, you she would get like a dated thing. Yeah. So if you guys vacation in November, it still is a 2020 vacation. Yeah. But like for but the calendars like, it's just, and. Like, really obvious. Yeah. Like, but they're trying to get rid of that merchandise. Now if these were BOGO. All day long. Whoa. First time back in Goofy. Oh my goodness. Sarah, well, we had to come in here for smells. Guys, remember when this like just became a thing, your custom uh, cotton candy? Oh. Sarah goes, I found some bacon stuff. Should we get one? Chocolate bar, chocolate chips. I'm feeling like I'm already on our little staycation. Now and for us. Come on, where did you Give us a video a thumbs up if you love Phil Collins. <laughs> um, not all of this snacks with character is vegan, but there are some. Uh, we got a storm rolling in, it looks like. I saw lightning. So we better go, we should go check if your honey energy drink is there. Okay. Do you see those tiny little people? Go watch Stacy! <laughs> There's no boat still. Peter, do you even know that I I captured you in the shower listening to Stacy this morning? In that my was... own private. I listen to Stacy all the time. Look at those flags. It looks like it's way worse than it feels, but maybe we're just like about to get destroyed by it. We're hanging out. I don't need this thing because it's pouring. But it dropped like 15 degrees. Does it feel like 8.15 to you? Because it does not feel like 8.15 p.m. It does not feel like 8.15. It does not feel like June. It does not feel like June, you're right. There's like a lot of lightning in the area. There's a lot of lightning. It's really, really loud. What you got over there, huh? What? What you got right there, huh? It'll be like second drink. Oh yeah, second drink. We're just literally hanging out because it's super cool. We got bumping music. We got our own personal hand sanitizer sponsored by the Brookhart Project. All right here at Disney Springs. I'm really enjoying this. Pretzels and beer. Oh, do the must juice.
Alrighty. The rain has stopped. So we're gonna stroll the riverfront. I just saw a bunch of, of lightning though. There's a tiny bit of the sunset left. There's definitely more lightning over there. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Well, there's a little bit. Okay. Oh, there it was. Kicker's in flight. A little bit of a sunset. Or at least Good. some residual sun. We're, next time we go to Chicago, we're going to Beatrix to show you it. Because I don't think we've ever vlogged no. it, but we used to go to Beatrix for breakfast, like pastries and coffee. Oh, so nice. And those the smoothies you used to get. They were juice. See? Look at that salad. Called a salad. They have chocolate covered pound cake that I just love. We showed my bump on the live stream yesterday. Do you want to see my bump? That's my baby. It's one like my one tight fitted shirt that you I know, she came out when we were, I was like finishing work and I was like, wait, you're pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't have clothes that show it up, but apparently today this tank top. There we go. Do you like? Do you want to build a snowman? Ba -ba. No, but do you really like my little hair tie? I do, I do, I love it. Um, it's storming still. We, when we weren't vlogging, we started Stranger Things. We haven't finished, we have Endgame to watch still for our Marvel movie marathon. It's running out. But we're just putting it off for a little bit. Start Stranger Things. We're gonna watch a little bit now. What we also realized we didn't tell you or talk about is the fact that there's a move that's happening that our dear dear friends have announced finally we've we've known for a little while now yeah. and we didn't tell anybody but our dear friends Megan and Katie Petrus are moving here next month like very like soon less than a month away yeah they're gonna go to disney with us they're gonna go to universal with us because yeah. they're huge harry potter fans they're huge disney yeah fans. and our dog is gonna meet their cats they're just two of the greatest people i ever know mm -hmm. and they've been in our vlogs before get ready for them to be in our vlogs more and we're very We've happy never for lived. them and we're very excited about it and well, they were at the same time yeah we did well we lived here when megan was here because the reason I'm friends, like, the reason that we know them is because I worked with Megan in Frontierland. That was for four weeks, so... Four months. Oh. Was it a college program? I thought it was summer. No. I was in my college program. Oh, that's program. right. She was there that awful night at IHOP in front of all of the Frontierland. <laughs> Imagine walking in IHOP and seeing every single Frontierland cast member. It was a fun time. Um, but yeah. So that is happening. So yeah. get ready for we, we know fun. where they're gonna live we're gonna help them move we're gonna help them move well i'm gonna help them move sarah's gonna you over there you i'm gonna watch there. all the pets yeah even though i'm allergic to cats but i'll just have to take some medicine well maybe because i can help dust or un unbox things and unpack yeah. things organize and visually so so that is things. happening and it's something we're very, so exciting very excited to for them. so look put a comment down below and say can't wait to see a pizza Yay! Says, and subscribe to their YouTube channel. I will put them both in the link because they have a personal YouTube and a Swish and Flick podcast ah! YouTube. Okay, goodbye. When you live the hardest life in the land, you look like this. <laughs> Is your life just so tough, Eve? Huh? You ready for bed, sweetie? Oh, man. Oh. What are we gonna do? Your eyes falling asleep right now. Oh. Okay, we'll sign off and then we can go to bed. All right, all right, all right. It is June 24th. Today's message is by the Dalai Lama. And the Dalai Lama says, what is the meaning of life? To be happy and useful. I agree. It's good to be home. We have two episodes left oh, of yeah. season one of Stranger Things. We were going to watch one more, but if we watch one, we have to watch two, and then yeah. it'd be 2 a.m., and that's just not good because we have to get up early tomorrow. Yes. So, it's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.